pseudo hypoparathyroidism so why we are calling this disease as a pseudo hypoparathyroidism hypoparathyroidism means decreased in the secretion or synthesis of parathyroid hormone pseudo means it's a false what do you mean by this actually the symptoms mimic hypoparathyroid state but actually if you see the serum concentration of parathyroid hormone it is actually elevated that is the reason we are calling it as pseudo hypoparathyroidism so this pseudo hypoparathyroidism is a heterogeneous group of disorders characterized by hypocalcemia hyperphosphatemia increased serum concentration of parathyroid hormone which is extremely important for you to know and insensitivity to the biological activity of pth which means pth level is absolutely normal or elevated in the pseudo hypoparathyroidism but whatever the pth which is secreted by the parathyroid gland which is insensitive on the receptors where it is acting this is the introduction what you need to know about pseudo hypoparathyroidism now what is the etiology it is a autosomal recessive disorder resulting in a defective pth receptor so the culprit is the pth receptor over here but not the parathyroid gland so what is the pathophysiology here we have two types of uh, pseudo hypoparathyroidism one is type 1a as well as 1b type 1a in which there is a deficiency in gs alpha component leads to decreased coupling of pth receptor to adenylate cyclase such that activation of the pth receptor does not activate the target cell and in another condition called as type 1b the regulation of the gs alpha is altered such that the target cell is not activated by the stimulation of the pth receptor this is what is the type 1 as well as type 2 and now what about the clinical manifestations because we are calling it as a hypoparathyroidism clinical manifestations mimic hypoparathyroid state which is hypocalcemia so what are the clinical features of hypocalcemia one is tetany or other signs of neuromuscular irritability and there will be a prolonged qt interval on the ecg which is one of the very important sign what you need to know trousseau sign and chostic sign so all these are the important clinical manifestations what we will see in the hypocalcemic condition irrespective of cause and here i want to talk about uh, one condition known as albright hereditary osteodystrophy so mainly in this condition you will see albright hereditary osteodystrophy which is associated with short stature mental retardation short and fourth as well as fifth metacarpal and metatarsal bones and there will be an obesity now what about the lab findings in pseudo hypoparathyroidism there will be hypocalcemia and there will be decreased pth levels and increased serum phosphate levels and the treatment include supplementation of calcium and also vitamin d supplementation 